Hello everybody. Welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about chain operation of city design pattern in C++. So let's uh, start with the problems uh, which if you are facing these kind of problems you should go for the chain operation of city design pattern. So the, if you have a multiple handlers uh, for the various incoming requests uh, and if you want to decouple the center of the request from the handler of the request uh, then you should try uh, chain operation of city pattern. Uh, so also if you want to give chance to multiple objects to handle a particular request a uh, chain of responsibility design pattern is uh, the right design pattern for you so let's see five key things about the design pattern uh, so here basically every base class uh, base handler cl handler class maintains the pointer to the next handler so uh, the base handler will uh, route uh, your request to proper handler uh, then each handler class will provide its own implementation uh, to handle the request uh, if the request cannot be handled it will pass that request to base class again which will be having a uh, pointer to the next class and then it will delegate to the next handler in the chain uh, the client or uh, main uh, in your case uh, will be uh, creating the chain of the uh, chain or linked list of the handlers and always pass the request to the beginner of the chain or root of the linked list so uh, and that's how your uh, request will be handled so if you uh, so also you have to make sure that uh, there is an exception handler for unknown or impossible requests which cannot be handled uh, through all the handlers uh, in the chain that you are having and just make sure that you should not be using chain of responsibility uh, design pattern when uh, every request is handled by only one handler or when the client is uh, knowing which handler should be uh, handling the request so if you already know that uh, you particular handler is going to handle your request then don't handle don't make use of the chain of responsibility design pattern so let's now let's see the implementation of the uh, chain of responsibility uh, design pattern so this is my c++ class uh, here I have created an enum class called as data type so these kind of data types I have uh, which can be incoming as request so I have a base handler class uh, so here uh, this will have a private uh, data member for uh, next handler and uh, add next is the method which will be used to create the linked list of the handlers and in my uh, base class uh, handle uh, base definition of the handle uh, what I will be doing is uh, if you have a next handler just pass it to the uh, pass the rec incoming request to so data type is kind of the request that we are going to get so if I can handle this data type I will uh, if I cannot handle this I will say uh, I cannot handle this data type otherwise if I have a next handler I will ask next handler to give it a try so this is my very uh, basic implementation for the base class handler uh, then various data types handlers I have given like int uh, handler so if it's a data if incoming data type is int then this will handle it otherwise it will pass it to the base uh, then if double is my incoming data type it will, what it will do is uh, do some processing convert the double to float and then pass the float to the base class handler so which it, it will pass to the uh, next handler and if I, if the incoming type is not double then just forward it to the uh, base similarly with float float will convert the incoming data type to int and call the base handler with uh, int uh, type create in, in data type created so this is my these are my three handlers I haven't added any handler for care uh, so here I have created three handlers uh, in the client side uh, what they will do is uh, they will create a linked list so date uh, double handler is my root so to double handler I will add uh, float handler as the next one and to float I will add int handler as the next one so this is my uh, linked list is created here like double handler is pointing to float float is pointing to int now uh, I have um, the multiple requests that are created here so there are four requests one is for care other is for float and for int and double so if I uh, uh, if I, I what I will do is I will always call the uh, my root of the handler uh, root of my linked list or uh, beginner of the chain which is double handler I will always pass every request to the uh, double handler and uh, it will uh, make sure that it is handled properly or if any problem it will give an error so I'm running it and okay so here it, I should get the uh, result uh, so I'll just uh, make sure that 
what I will do here is I will put a breakpoint here okay and I'll say so you can just directly see the uh, so for the first uh, data type which is care it says that uh, it cannot handle zip data type then for float uh, it says uh, that float is converted to int and int is handled uh, then for next which is int it will say int handled again uh, then uh, for the double it will say double is converted to float float is converted to int and then int is handled so you can see uh, every diff data type is handled differently and that's why we had used the chain operation security design pattern so thanks for watching so this is a very basic implementation for uh, chain operation security design pattern and uh, so thanks for watching again and hope this helps